if you don't get the height to skip this section, um, what you're going to do is you're going to enter this little this um, tower and break these boxes. Go ahead and pick up anything they drop. All health items are good because uh, the blights are going to be very tough. Also, any arrows are going to be useful for Calamity Ganon. Walk out the back and then you're going to climb up climb up this ledge. Three jumps should do it. Here. Alright. So from here, you're going to want to walk past that broken column right there for about like a second. That should get you to the right place to where you can jump up and get to the road. Move into the doorway. Hopefully not... You actually probably shouldn't whistle run. My, my bad. Do not whistle run. Otherwise you get their attention and you have to wait for them to go back to their spots. So from here you're going to want to sprint. Go ahead and grab these. Any health is good. Ouch. Freaking A. Grab the mighty banana. It's very important for the elixir that you're going to get. And go through the center door. Heal myself here. Alright, after that, go into this hallway. And you're going to want to place a bomb at this wooden column, horizontally, in the center of the room where these two wooden columns are. You're going to place the bomb right there. Touch the wall and explode. That'll blow up those two doors. Grab the Royal Guard Sword. And then you want to get the attention of this lizard guy over here. I forget his official name. Don't die. Um, all you need to do is activate him. You don't need to kill him. And then this part is tricky. You're going to jump over the railing and land behind the enemy at the bottom. He's going to be looking for you. You need to make sure you stay out of sight and you need to make sure that horizontally you are behind him. Good place to go. Oh, he's going to see me. Don't touch the wall. If you touch the wall, he'll see you. Or he'll be alerted. If you do it correctly, he'll go back to his stance. Lock onto him. Sneak up. And do a sneak strike. That'll kill him. Grab his sword. Grab his guts. Not all these small pieces, but you want to grab his guts for the elixir we're going to make. Get the Royal Guard's bow and the shield. The shields are for Calamity Ganon. Their durability and defense are not important. Use the axe, which is probably almost broken by now, and break open these boxes. If you didn't break the axe, throw it away. You don't need it. Grab everything. Well, mostly everything. Any heal items are at your discretion. Um, they will be used whenever you need it. If you do everything perfectly, you won't need it. I'm up to the top. The lizard guy should have gone to wandering. Yep. Wandering over there. You want to... As soon as you exit the room right here, you want to whistle to get his attention. And then throw a bomb to distract him. Come behind this pillar so that he doesn't see you, because I've been closer and he's seen me before. Make sure you have the Royal Guard sword equipped. Get up close to him and sneak strike to kill. Grab his equipment, not his drops. You can sprint all the way up until this door, but once you enter this door, you can't sprint anymore. Then you run all the way up to this Razor Shroom. Once you get this Razor Shroom over here, You want to crouch, because if you run, they will be alerted. Crouch hop up to horizontally with this rug right here. Take out a bomb, throw it, and crouch without moving. Wait until they're thoroughly distracted, and then get close to them. Sneak strike both of them. And grab the stone smasher. 
for good measure, get the raw gourmet meat. It gives you a full heal. Extremely useful. Light the uh, stove with uh, arrow. And we're going to make our elixir. Now, before we start grabbing items to make the elixir, go ahead and equip your armor. You're already in the menu. It doesn't hurt. So the recipe for the elixir. Bladed rhino beetle. One mighty banana. If you're doing RNG route and you don't have the armor and you manage to find two bananas, do two bananas. Uh, but for our purposes, since we have the armor, just do one. One banana. The moblin guts. And then the razor shroom. I'm missing one. The Mulduga fin. Alright, well, that's fine. We don't need the Mulduga fin. Go ahead and use the second banana. So that gives us our strength potion. From there, we can blow up our bomb and exit the room and back into the hallway. I would jump down these stairs and then bullet time to shoot this eye. That'll open up the pathway by the time you get to it. Run up these stairs. This guy's gonna come at you. Go to his right. Anyone with a spear cannot hit you if you're running to their right. Shoot this eye. Don't miss. And grab the thunder blade. Pick up any arrows if you need to. Open the chest to get some guardian arrows. They'll be extremely useful. Excuse me, ancient arrows. Grab the royal bow, and then there's two bundles of arrows that you can get. Now, we're in a very unfortunate situation because I have to climb and it's raining. Since I can't control the weather, I'm just going to stand here and wait for it to abate. Hopefully it won't take long. Alright. Rain's done. Cool. Moving on. So there was a bundle of arrows. You grab the bundle of arrows. It was right here in this corner. Then you climb up this wall. One thing to note, you're going to be targeted. Don't worry about getting all the way around. Just get halfway around and paraglide the cliff. Run over here, the edge over here, and then start climbing this wall. If you can perfect your positioning, you can do four jumps and make it all the way to the top of the wall. Unfortunately, that would cost you your entire stamina reserve. So, it's up to you. Now you'll want to change your... Uh, Change to the uh, orange bow, I forget what it's called, and the guardian arrows, because you're going to burn a guardian arrow on the Slynel. Easy death. Or easy kill, I guess I should say. Grab the bomb arrows and whistle run to this wall. Up the wall. Whistle run to the next wall. Up that wall, and then follow the path. Uh, the path should interrupt the guardian. And then you want to whistle run up these stairs. Don't sprint, whistle run. That way you get his attention. Because you want him to fire as soon as possible. Yes, you want him to fire. Sprint when he's about to fire so he misses. And then come between these two pillars of the walkway. That'll interrupt him. Climb up and then follow the path. The path will interrupt him so you don't have to worry. Equip the Thunderblade. And relieve this guy of his edge of duality. Grab the weapon. Grab the arrows, climb the wall, and then grab the bow. Jump off the wall. Make sure you have stamina because you need pretty much full stamina to get up this wall. And then whistle run slash sprint across this bridge. Which puts you into Zelda's study. Now this next part, I'm going to go ahead and make a, a decent explanation of this next part. That window is very, very tricky. If you try to go out of the window, you might end up just falling off the tower. What I would advise is to stand inside the window seal and then climb onto the right side of the window seal. So right now we're in the window seal. Go ahead and just climb on the right side. Don't worry about getting all the way out. Then you can just rotate and climb the rest of the wall. Don't do any uh, fast climbs here because you'll lose all your stamina.
Now there are two sections to this roof. The first one is uh, shallow enough that you can whistle run up it and get your stamina back without wasting time. Once you get to the second section, just climb it up like normal. Transfer on to the face to your left and wait until you're even with the top of this hole right here that's in the roof. Right about here. Jump off and paraglide across. Make sure you don't hit the pretty purple stuff. After that, that is your Hyrule Castle route. And we will move into the Blights.